Hello friends, I am Karan from Team Mast. In this video we will learn the Java Collections API. So, a collection means a group of objects. So, the Collection API provides the Java developers with a set of classes and interfaces that makes it easier to handle objects. So, <clears throat> in order to access the Collection API, you can access it using importing the java.util package and every item in the collection is called as an element so let's see the structure of the collection api in java so first of all we have the collection interface which is the root interface of the java collection api next we have uh, interfaces such as list set queue and so on which extend the collection interface and after that we have a list of classes which implement the interfaces like list set and queue so the array list link list stack and vector these classes implement the list interface and the classes like hash set linked hash set tree set implement the set interface so so on and next we have the map interface sorted map interface and navigable navigable map interface now this is not a part of the java collection api but in terms of data structure it is necessary and we use it as much as we use this so the classes like hash map hash link map hash table and tree map implement the interface like map, sorted map and navigable map. So let's see all these things one by one. First of all we have the list interface. Now the list interface extends the collection interface and since it is a generic type the capital E represents that it can be any object, it can be string, it can be long type object, it can be integer type object or it can be any custom pojo also so the list interface is ordered so by ordered we mean that the, uh, the user that is inserting the elements in the list has control over where the elements are being inserted so you can access the elements directly using the integer index next the list can contain duplicate elements and you can also show multiple null elements in a list next we have an error list now an error list is a class which implements the list interface so um, the next thing is that array list is not thread safe so do not use an error list if you want to perform some thread safe operations and an array list can contain duplicate elements and you can also store multiple null elements in the array list now array list can grow or shrink the size of itself like when you uh, use a normal array you have a problem that you cannot grow or shrink the size of the array you cannot grow the array if you have already declared it to be of 10 size so with array list you can grow the size of the array you can decrease the size of the array so you can also randomly insert and retrieve elements from the array list and the array list uh, one major functionality of array list is that it provides fast random access so if you want to uh, access elements if you want to have a data structure which asks you to which provides a necessity to access the elements frequent very frequently so it is recommended that you use error list for that and the error list uses less memory as compared to a linked list so let's see vector a vector is a class a vector is a class it implements the list interface and a vector is thread safe so if you want to perform some 
operations which have to be thread safe like database operations uh, you you must use a vector and you should not use an array list if you want to perform some thread safe operations and an a vector also can contain duplicate elements and you can store multiple null elements in vector now a linked list it's a class which implements the list interface and a linked list is not thread safe linked list can contain duplicate elements and it also allows multiple null elements now one major functionality that is provided by linked list is that it provides constant time insertion and removal so if you want to perform multiple insertion and removal operations very frequently so it is recommended to use a linked list for this purpose next now in order to declare an error list we should always declare with the list interface because if in future the error list class becomes deprecated then you will have to change a lot of code so never initialize or declare error list in this particular format where you give the type of the list as error list always give initialize uh, it as an instance of the list interface and then declare it as a array list or a linked list or a vector or a stack that you want to do so moving on to the next <clears throat> thing we have a set a set is an interface which extends the collection interface and a set cannot contain duplicate elements and it also means that you can only store one null element in the set next we have a hash set which is a class that implements the set interface and there are some properties for the hash set class like the insertion order is not maintained so you cannot predict in which order the items will be getting stored in the hash set let's say you inserted one two and three in hash set but when you print the values of the hash set they may print up to like three two one or two three one or in any order you cannot predict like in which order the elements are being inserted into the hash set and you can also not contain duplicate elements into hash set and hash set does not support random retrieval of elements and hash set is not thread safe so there's a tree set which implements the set interface tree set is a class and the elements in tree set are stored in natural order like if you store uh, first of all if you insert 2 into a tree set and then you insert 3 and then afterwards you insert 1 so automatically the order in which the elements are inserted into a tree set will be like 1 will be stored then 2 and afterwards 3 so it will be in a sorted fashion and a tree set cannot contain duplicate elements only null uh, only one null element is permitted next guys there's a lot of videos coming up please do subscribe to the channel team must and you can also share the feedback for this video in the comment section below and the next week we'll be uploading the video we'll be giving an example of a linked list using eclipse in java so stay tuned see you next video soon until then be must and keep rocking bye bye